Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday. January 25th. <laughs> 2020. Boy, I thought I was the sick one. <laughs> Week number 60. <laughs> yep. Lord, help me. Week 60. And um, here we are on our Saturday update, as promised. Um, our weights and some basic updates from the week. Yes. Up a little earlier, we have a holiday party tonight. Yeah. I'm going on a date with my honey. Yeah, we're going to go to uh, the Costco holiday party. Obviously, we're retail, so we don't do it uh, in the middle of the uh, busy season. So we always wait till after the first of the year after inventory is done. So it's a night to look forward to, for sure. Mm -hmm. We're going to play some, we're going to gamble tonight. Yeah, I got some little casino things and And lots raffles. and lots of prizes. So hopefully we win something tonight. Last year, we didn't get anything. but We did. But That's we had okay. a good night. We had fun. Yeah, we had fun. So, all righty. Well, let's jump right into it. Um, my weight last week was 328.6 on January 18th. And my weight today was 329.6. So I'm up exactly one pound. But still out of the 30s. <laughs> Barely, but yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> we'll take it. You've been going Let's through quite going. a bit. So. I, uh, this week I almost ended up back in the hospital on Wednesday. Um, I'm having lots of stuff going on. I've got doctors got me a couple new tests uh, scheduled for next week, starting mm -hmm. on the sixth. I think is the first one, and uh, I've got to go back into the hospital for a little bit to uh, get some of these things going. Non keto related, just a lot of physical stuff for me. I'm getting old. <laughs> Keep telling Stacy it's probably cheaper to put me down. <laughs> not so, happening. Um, yeah, keto is not taking a back seat in terms of what I'm eating and how I'm doing things, but just quality of life for 2020 has been rough for me. Been in and out of the hospital and uh, I, I almost went back on Wednesday and Thursday and I didn't because I'm a little bit scared to be honest with you. Our hospitals are over capacity right now. The last time I was admitted it took I think 16 hours to get a room. I sat in a storage closet and on a hallway. Um, it, was, it was insane to just even try and get admitted. Um, so I'm trying to stay out of there if I can. Doctors have been pretty helpful, but just can't seem to get things going fast enough and get me feeling human again. But, uh, so yeah, so I'm up a pound. Um, I did, there was a day and a half where I didn't even eat anything. And my sugar is obviously through the roof. I can't get into ketosis right now. Um, a lot of it's pain related. And, uh, I just doesn't even matter if I eat or not, my sugar goes up. Uh, I'm certainly not going off the keto though. So at this point I'm just taking it easy on foods and everything because I just don't want to eat. I don't want to drink. I don't feel well. So mornings are the worst and it's very early in the morning. <laughs> So, it is. So where are you at, Stacey? All right, so last week I weighed in at 135.4, and this morning I weighed in at 136, so I'm up six ounces, um, hovering right around that uh, 135, 136 range. And that's pretty much your, where you'll be at, give or take a pound or two. Yeah. Now, I do have to say, <clears throat> normally I don't like shopping, and I still don't love shopping, however... Of course, because I have nothing to wear for this holiday party, and uh, nothing fit you. Yeah. <laughs> I tried it, and Bill's like, "No, you're not. No, give that one away." And then, ironically, that was the dress you wore last year to this party, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it looks like a tent on our nose. <laughs> That's not gonna work. <laughs> not even with a belt. That's just not gonna look right. That, no, it was. It was. It, it was. It was <sighs> quite big. Um, so we went shopping and the first two things that I picked, I picked a dress and I picked a jumpsuit, which I would have never picked before. Did it look great? And, uh, they both fit wonderfully. I was like, oh my gosh, I have a choice. Which one do I want to wear? And they both looked equally great. Of course, I went with the pantsuit only because I know how chilly I get. And that one had sleeves and Did you even pants. take a picture of you wearing that? I can't remember. I did not, uh, but I will tonight. Uh, I would put it up for everybody to see, but uh, they're not here. Well, they'll see the, the we'll full effect. We'll yeah. have it for next week. But yeah, so we're super excited. Um, one, because I just picked two things up off the rack in the regular section. and what was it medium? A medium. Yeah. 
and it fit quite nicely. Very nice. It looks great. So I'm, I'm excited. We got Bill some new clothes. We got him a new jacket that's not like a 5X. Yeah, my other jacket was a 5 and the other one was a 6. And they both look kind of blousy on me. So He said blousy. Blousy. <laughs> yeah, I picked up a 3 extra large tall, which is fits me so much better. It looks wonderful on him. Yeah. We, it feels better to have a jacket that actually fits me too. Yeah, we went to Chicago. We did make it. Uh, this week yeah, we went down to Chicago. Very and rushed trip. It was. It was much shorter than we were anticipating, but we still went. I got to meet my brother-in-law, Dickie. Yeah, my, uh, there, there's a story behind that. If you guys go way back to one of our previous updates of DNA, uh, <laughs> basically when I was 51, I found out that I had uh, two sisters and a, and a brother, all half-brother, half-sisters. Two additional um, sisters. Yeah, two additional sisters to the sister that I already have yes. that I was aware of uh, because my father wasn't my father. It was a different father. So kind of a weird situation, but um, just meeting all of them recently in the last year, it's been a wild ride. And this is the first time we got Stacy to come down yes. and see Dickie. And he was playing at Buddy Guys Legends, uh, the Blues Club. So we got to go down and enjoy that show and meet with him and, and sit down and talk and just hang out for a while. And yeah. It was a very... Um, quick little condensed trip. I, I think it took less than 36 hours total and we spent 10 of it in the car, but uh, it was worth it. It was fun and I'm really glad that you were able to come. Yeah. Yeah. It was nice. We've got some really nice pictures and uh, we'll definitely meet up with them again. And then in yeah. Maybe May, not in Chicago, but yeah, not somewhere Chicago. easier. <laughs> Chicago is a rough city to navigate and run $60 around. $60 to park for the night. Yeah. And, um, being as sick as I am and was and sore and not feeling well took a lot out of me. I almost went right into the emergency room on Wednesday when we got back. That's It was rough. Very. Still rough. <laughs> but we're just pushing through it. So um, He's a trooper. What else we got going on here? We got our weights in, right? Yep. Okay. Um, I think they're off on Monday. I am. Is it Monday or Tuesday? Monday. You were talking about maybe making that bread again to try that bread. Yes. We we'd had a keto cookbook for keto breads and Stacey tried a little loaf and you didn't even get a chance to try it. And then we went out of town and then we came home and I had to toss it because it had been sitting in the fridge for like six days. And I had yeah. a feeling being all fresh ingredient and whatnot. I think you're going to get about a three day life out of that is my guess. Probably. So just to be safe. But I don't make want you getting sick. Yeah. It's very so maybe, easy to make. And, maybe make uh, it on video and we'll throw up a video for it. Yeah. It tasted okay. I mean, I toasted it and I put butter on it and I, you know, like a half a piece. I just wasn't in the mood for eating anything. I haven't been all week. Just, yeah. Not, not. Last thing on my mind is eating or drinking anything. I haven't even been drinking so much coffee. I mean, I'm, this week I maybe had four cups of coffee all week. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Not that's liking. a lot. That's a lot for me, considering yeah. I don't want anything. <laughs> but we're trying. So, yeah, well, hopefully maybe you can squeak a video in. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. It's been a while since we've been able to get anything in. On the, I've on adjusted video. my schedule at Camus. <clears throat> so I will have a full day off again. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not exactly sure where this next week will take me with doctors and tests and whatnot. Um, I haven't given up on how I'm eating and what I'm eating, but um, there might be some gaps in our updates if I'm not able to be home or if I've got to continue some other different paths of whatever the doctors got me on here. I'm just um, not doing so great, so... It doesn't have to do with keto. It's just other stuff inside my body I'm fighting with. Yeah. So, And it's just throwing my sugars all crazy. And Every time I test for ketones, I'm way above where I need to be. And it won't let me get in there. And it's frustrating. But it's yeah. not the food I'm eating or the lack of food I'm eating. Because I've even fasted for almost two days straight. And my sugar was still 180. But I'm fighting infections. I'm fighting... Uh, a lot of pain and uh, just not feeling well. <laughs> so got to go get the heart checked out next. Yeah. That's next. Nuclear stress test and a CT calcium scan. I guess they're going to check for 
some blockages and see if that's part of the problem and some other areas of nuclear junk running through me that they'll be able to tell if there's any other issues. So Good I'm vibes going, and prayers are appreciated. Yeah, I'm going to go do that next week <clears throat> and try and stay out of the hospital if I can. <laughs> yes, sir. So yeah. now we got to get Stacy off to work, and I'm going to try my best to rest and get moving a little bit so that by the time she comes home for our party that I'm not miserable. Right now I'm not feeling good. <laughs> but tonight I'll do my best to smile and enjoy the evening because I get to spend it with you. And friends. And friends, yeah. It'll be fun. So it'll be fun. All right, guys. Well, thank you for checking in with us. And I apologize that we've been so MIA lately. Uh, I'm hoping we can get this bus turned around and uh, get, get back. out the struggle bus. Uh, I've been out the struggle bus. You're pretty much where you need to be. We're still working on me. I'm, I'm a work in, I'm a work in progress. <laughs> I'm right here with you, baby. I just got to get everything else straight out in my body and, and start feeling human again. That's, that's, the, that's the goal. That's the goal. That's the goal. So thanks again for sticking in with us and uh, check back on Saturday and possibly even in the week if you're able to do that um, little bread video. It would yeah. be cool. Very cool. I'll just start a camera and you just roll with it. If you goof up, just keep going. No I'm wrong with the dough. I don't feel like editing, so just get it done. <laughs> you said it was easy. Just make it easy then. I'll do my <laughs> best. No pressure. Make it easy on your husband. <sighs> uh -huh. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. I'm not doing good. I'm so sorry, baby. <laughs>